Today, the Chancellor has announced the details of how he plans to find an extra £11.5 billion of resource savings for the year 2015-16 to help deliver the government's deficit reduction programme and allow greater investment in national infrastructure projects. I'm clear that the fiscal situation we inherited was a threat to our national security. Without strong public finances, all of what we do in defence is at risk. The country is spending more on debt interest than we are on defence. Unless we bring down the deficit, we would have little chance of properly funding our armed forces to face future threats. From the start of this spending review process, I've been open about the fact that we can make some genuine efficiency savings, but that we shouldn't take out further military capabilities. I'm pleased that we've reached an agreement with the Treasury that protects military manpower and military capabilities, but which will deliver genuine efficiency savings equivalent to 1.9% of our 2014-15 Ardell baseline. That's the best settlement of any of the non-ring fence departments. Indeed, we will be increasing the equipment programme spending by 1% above inflation from the 2015-16 baseline. Overall, we have a deal that is tough but deliverable, producing efficiencies in the back office to help us deliver on the front line. This will mean some difficult decisions around the rationalisation of civilian allowances and will also mean a small number hundreds rather than thousands, of further civilian headcount reduction, which will be delivered by limiting recruitment. There will be £350 million of savings in the equipment and support programme, provided by early efficiency gains identified in the McKinsey-led review and a restructuring of existing PFIs. Another £300 million will come from an innovative deal with the Cabinet Office Efficiency and Reform Group and the Government Procurement Service, who will take over responsibility for some of our commodity and IT procurement and, in conjunction with the Treasury, guarantee the agreed level of savings. Overall, I believe we've ended up with a good deal for defence and one that I, PUS and the Chiefs are united in believing is tough but deliverable.